Hi guys and welcome back to Studio One with me, Gregor. So today I want to talk with you about drag and drop, probably the single most important thing to learn about Studio One. It really constitutes our entire workflow and Studio One couldn't be what it is without drag and drop. So that's why I want to show you a couple of examples for drag and drop today, whether it's songwriting, mixing or mastering, these can be highly useful at any situation. That's why it's really important for you to master this principle as quickly as possible, because it's going to help you at any stage of your songwriting or mixing. So I'm going to show you a couple of examples right now and hope that you find them inspiring. To create an instrument track in Studio One, there's no need for you to right click here in the track list. You can just drag your instrument directly from the browser into the next available song space. To evolve your instrument into a multi-instrument with more expression and complexity, simply drag another instrument of your choice onto the existing one and then choose the combine option. We're going to talk more about multi-instruments and the amazing advantages that they offer in another episode later. So now that we've chosen the sound, how do we get what's in our head into the actual software? One way is to use the MIDI keyboard, but you can actually also use your voice. So let's just hit record on an audio track. Amazing performance, I know. Now we just edit it with Melodyne. And once we got it and tuned it a little bit, we can just drag and drop it onto a MIDI track and let the instrument play that for us. <laughs> to add an effect to your instrument, just select the desired effect and then drag and drop it onto the track. In many other DAWs, you first have to set up a separate return track, then put your insert effects on that channel. In Studio One, all that's required is to just drag the effect onto the sense portion of your track. As soon as you drop the effect, Studio One will not only create the return channel for you, but also set the scent level accordingly. It couldn't be easier. To add an effect only to one or several selected events of your audio track, simply drag the desired effect from the browser and drop it onto the selection while holding the Alt or Option key. To duplicate an effect onto another channel, you guessed it. To copy all effects to another channel, simply drag from the Insert tab and then drop it. To add an effect or a series of effects on as many channels at once as you like, all you have to do is just make your channel selection with the Shift key and then drag and drop. When copying effects in Studio One 4.5, the respective sidechain routing is remembered as well. This enables electronic music producers to sidechain any element in their song to the kick drum or bass line and it only takes seconds. As you can hear, this lead sound has a bit of a dull rhythm. I would rather like it to follow the rhythm of the bass line. In order to do this, all you have to do in Studio One is to just click the little Q button here, go to the groove maps and then just drag the desired rhythm onto this little box and then you can just apply it to any track you want. These are just a couple of examples of how you can utilize drag and drop in Studio One. Whenever you're not quite sure how something works, but you're pretty sure that it should be intuitive, try it out for yourself.